down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Howdy, other YouTube, it's me, Sizzle Games. I'm here bringing you another episode of Minecraft Solo Survival. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on, or start building stuff with the iron and whatnot. And it's about to be nighttime. Every time I... Every time it's about to be nighttime, I I'm all like, oh my gosh, nighttime! I have to, I have to sit through this and fight monsters and stuff the whole night. But I I always forget I have a bed. <laughs> but whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and actually we need to show this this uh crafting table some love because I don't think I've ever built anything with that one. So there's the sword, and one more will make a bucket, and then hopefully the rest can give me a chest plate. So let's make the bucket. Bucket, where's the bucket? Bucket for uh, Right here. Alright, there we go. And... Finally... The chest plate when the rest of these smelt. How much do you even need for a chest plate? I'm not too sure. Uh, you need... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. I like how... <laughs> I didn't even count them. I just looked at the thing... I looked at how many there were and just said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, even though I already knew it was 8. Wow. I'm a genius. Okay. One more and then we can... Actually, yeah, like I said, exactly enough. Sweet. I... I'm an evil genius, an evil mastermind. Ooh. Alright. Let's do this. I wanna be my very best Ooh. Okay. Put that on. Put this there, and should we wait for daytime, or not wait, should we sleep? Nah, that, that ruins the entire fun of Minecraft if you can't get blown up by creepers or shot by a skelly. Alright, so let's do this quickly like a little girl. Uh, 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 no, no, they're chasing after me. Oh my gosh, there had to be one right there just chilling like, <laughs> what's up? I'm going to go meet my friend Sizzle Games today, we're going to sizzle together, only when I sizzle I pop. You like that, didn't you? Sizzle and pop. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, so I wanted to make the infinite water source outside, but now that there's a creeper there, I'm going to have to go to sleep. So, what the heck? I could have... Oh, I'm like seeing things. I don't even know why. Last episode, there was a zombie in there. This time, I saw like some weird brown thing. What was that? What's wrong with me? Look at this. Third person, oh, third, no, no, dang it, you guys didn't get to see. In third person, you see, like, a full shot of yourself. It's kind of cool. What the heck is going on? Someone's, like, like sharpening a blade or something. Alright, so, oh, look at that. The creeper bows are here to uh, ruin my, my fun, like always. But a jerk, or jerks. Alright. Oh, so he chills inside of my garden. That's great. Oh, what's up? He he won't see me. Uh, uh, hey, and now my my phone is ringing. That's great. Blah, 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 I can't I can't let you know. Blah blah blah. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna call again? No! I think you heard it that time. It wasn't that loud. Even all it is is a name, so I don't even know why I'm censoring it out. But, whatever. That's the ghetto sensing out right there. Just yelling into the mic. That's how... That's how they do it in the ghetto! That's where I'm from. You ready for this? Blow up. Yeah. See, I've calculated the radius of where the the explosion will happen. So, I know exactly where to stand so they don't hit me. And that's a complete lie. That was complete luck right there. And this entire episode, I haven't been doing anything because of the stupid creepers. Oh my gosh. How did I not have these experiences with creepers before? Like, when I, when I established that skeletons were my least favorite mobs, I, I kind of thought they were going to stay that. And why did I put that in the garden without making the infinite water source? That would have been smart. 
Whatever. Alright, so the infinite water source is probably gonna be really close to the garden because why would it be far away? Why would it be on the other side of the map than the garden? It would make no sense at all. I, I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just, no, we'll put it like right here. It can be like our watering system. This is, this is what provides us water in our house. I'm probably going to have one in my house later on. Once I start branching out into on this house and like actually adding stuff. Because right now all we kind of have is the outer shell and nothing really inside. It's kind of like when you first move into a house and everything you have is packed up and all you have is like a bed. Or not even a bed, maybe like an inflatable mattress or something to sleep in. Well, that I, I usually always have the bed when I sleep. When I uh, move, we, we usually have a bed ready and stuff. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Alright, there we go. Infinite water. So, can someone even tell me if water actually helps these things grow, or is this just, like, a decoration thing that people like to do? Because, I mean, it would make sense if it makes things grow, so I'm not knocking it, saying it, it, it doesn't make things grow, because, I mean, I've seen it not grow. Like, for instance, it, it, was, it was growing. I mean, I saw it grow even without water, because, you know, it, we just saw that. I mean, these things grew without water. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, let's fill this thing up. We're almost done. Ugh. 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 Alright. Come on, come on. Ugh. There we go. I have ice hair. Everybody look at me. I have ice hair. That's great. Um, so, I guess we're going to go back into the cave now, because we have our chest blade. We got this bucky. We got this iron sword. Okay. Let's go. The only thing is, well, this is kind of random, but it does have to do with the bucket, so it's not too random, but I I think that if it rains, so rain actually has a purpose, because I don't see the, the point of rain. If if you walk around with a bucket, the bucket should um, fill up with water. Wouldn't that make sense? I have no food. I have no food. Whatever. Let's get some more coal so we can make some more torch. And we will make some more torch. And we will explore the cave. Explore the cave. Eh, eh, why do I keep throwing these items? Oh, some more iron. Great. All this iron will come in handy for real, for real. Because we need some good iron stuff to uh, survive stuff. And whatnot. <laughs> Alright, so... Don't tell me I've explored everything to be that has been ex or that can be explored in this cave because that's not cool. All right, there we go. At least that one didn't blow up. First one of the series to not blow up. I'm not too sure, but at least that one didn't. <laughs> All right, so I mean, where else can we go? Oh my gosh, coming out of nowhere, huh, Skelly? Huh? Huh? You think just because it takes me forever, even though I could have just went left instead of right to come to this sword that you could kill me? No, not gonna happen. I got my iron chest plate. And stuff. Oh gosh. Here we go. This is the attack of the monsters. Attack of the monsters. Alright, so... Once again, I think we came out through the wrong side, but that's fine. Yeah, this is the exact same place I came out the other time. Whatever. Oh, I'm dead. No, oh, I have rotten flesh. I have rotten flesh. I have rotten flesh. I have rotten flesh. Eat. Oh, even human meat tastes good when you're starving to death. <coughs> first cough since the last episode. And that was the first cough since in a long time. Yeah. Alright, so we have some more cobblestone, so I guess we can continue working on... Larry's platform up here. So let's do this. What's up, Larry? The platform's getting bigger by the day. Oh, yo, Larry. What's up? Huh? Why don't you eat that grass? Oh, because you don't... You can't really eat it. I forgot. Because <laughs> you're kind of standing on that block, so you can't really eat it. Yeah. I'll do something about that once I spread out your whole front fence area and stuff. But for now... You were kind of screwed. 
my friend. You're kind of naked, indecent to the public. Someone could give you a ticket, and I fell down the wrong one. That's great. Alright, let's go ahead and break all this down. Alright, let's continue. So, what, was, what exactly was, was I going to do? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, get food, because we have nothing. I'm over here not eating rotten flesh. What kind of nutrition value is that? None. None whatsoever. Ugh. Does rotten flesh actually hurt you? But besides only, like, making it so uh, your hunger goes away faster while you are in the condition of, like, rotten flesh or whatever the condition is called? Because... I don't know. Wouldn't it give you, like, food poisoning and actually hurt you? Because that's never, ever, ever getting back together. No, ever happened to me, so I don't know. But I've seen, like, in a video on some server, some some guy got food poisoning. But it could have just been, like, a mod or, or something. I don't know. There is no animals. I'm in the deepest part of the forest, and this is not exactly the deepest part, because I can still see my house. Look at the the white and the brown. It's so Christmas, uh... It's so holiday festive gingerbread house type of feeling. Know what I'm trying to say? Like the white is like the frosting and whatnot. And yeah. <laughs> Once again, my hunger bar is about to run out, so that's not good. Whatever, it doesn't matter. What's over here? <coughs> oh, sand. Okay, uh, I gotta keep this in mind because I'm always... No. There's a whole desert right here. Wow. Like, I've been struck... And a village. I've been struggling this whole time to find a... To find a glass... Not glass. Uh, sand to make glass when there was a desert pretty much right next to my house. That's great. I'm taking this. What, what even happened to the to the other sugar cane I collected? It doesn't matter. There's not even any villagers here, so there's no point in this village, but, I mean, still kind of cool. Look, look at the village. I'm going to take this wheat. I'm taking this wheat. How is all of this not done yet, uh, growing yet? I mean, come on. But, yeah, as you can tell, nothing in here. Some random dirt, like, collected up over the years. And seeing as how one inch of dirt takes about 500 years to collect up, um... This has been abandoned for quite a long time, I, I, I must I must say. If it is true that each block in this game is three feet. And it's about to be nighttime and I'm over here talking about dirt and in a random village place. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so how exactly do I go about getting back home. Should I make the the bread and kind of just like cheese it over to the house or should I stay here the night? I don't know. All I know is I'm going to get all this wheat and junk. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make the bread and cheese it cuz I, I really don't have any business being here. I'm going to take this lava. How did I know there would be lava there? Is there anything in any of these? Nope. Dang it. How about in here? Nope. Actually, I can use this. Yeah, I'm taking it all. Alright. And in that other house, is there anything? Nothing really. Some slabs. Which I will be taking as well, because I never use slabs, so why not use them? <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> what I should use them for, but... I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of cool, I guess. And we have our own little fence. Actually, we're going to be taking this too. Fences. Not bad. I actually read that book. No, I didn't. But we were supposed to read it, and I kind of got the gist of it, because we would always have class discussions. It's pretty much like this black family and this guy. I forgot what his name was, but he was like a garbage person, and he was like cheating on his wife or something like that. And then he had a friend named Bono and blah, blah, blah. But I'm getting off topic. Next episode, you will probably see my my solution for getting out of this mishap where it is nighttime and I am in 
a random village that could be haunted. Yo, if, if, it, if this was just me and I just came across a random village, I, I would, like, be com pretty freaked out. Like, just an abandoned village. But then again, this guy is living all alone, so he's probably never seen another person, so he thinks he's the only person in the world, which means he doesn't even know what a person is. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye!